So we have a rather large box, which I didn't black out my shipping address, but I'll just try not to hold it that way. I'm going to see this. You know how large this box is? They had to put large box on the box. Well, wow, there we go. If, it's a if large FedEx box. says it's large box, then it must be a large yes, box. It, it is a large box. And I'm very glad I didn't end up having to pay customs on this or duty because it's not light. Because it is a large box. It is a large, heavy box. And the large box surtax. So we are unboxing the large box from FedEx, which I bet you this is taped underneath, right? Yeah, it does say press and hold. So cutting the tape probably isn't actually going to do much here on the large box. Yeah, as I said, almost. This will work. Yeah, that worked. We have packing material. Woo! Oh, geez. Oh, the packing material is actually around. All right, we'll try to hold it this way because you get to see lots of bubble wrap and probably Woo. glare. This is a big box. Wow. That is it's neat. shiny. It's we are going to have gloss issues, I have a feeling here. So, right now, I'm going to turn yeah, this turn off, light right. around. Because this is a shiny box. Watch your microphone. It is yeah. not shrink wrap, but holy cow! <coughs> Good job packaging. Everyone's all really excited about this. You're gonna see it and be like, "What is that?" <laughs> there we go. Cypress Legacy, the board game. All right. So yeah, yeah, there. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that works. Your your monitor. Yeah, I'm seeing the monitor. Yeah. Oh, Here, there we go. There we go. The monitor, this there one. we go. Perfect. There we go. Yep. Cypress Legacy. So I'm going to read the back. I'll show you the back. Oh, about yeah. there. So I'm not showing any monitors. Not that I have anything you can't see on my monitors. Yeah. Let so me, let me help you by doing that. There we go. That's true. Now I can see. Yeah, you can see it good back here. If I tilt it up a bit. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Perfect. So the story you are playing within begins with Lorna Ritten just learning of Alfred Cypress, the grandfather she has never known. Lorna has always wanted to find out more about her biological family, which, which has always been a mystery. Her grandfather's attorney, Philip Brandt, tells Lorna of an inheritance, which includes, which includes one of her grandfather's many mansions and its contents. Can any Cthulhu vibe here? Her desire to know more marks the beginning of a very unique and potentially dangerous situation. Lorna has no idea just how important this activity is to her and will be to others. Lorna is studying some of the inheritance documents before visiting the mansion. She realizes there are objects that hold key information hidden throughout the mansion. These include maps and other unique items concerning Alfred's work, as well as more, more about Lorna's biological family. And even though she realizes she is being watched and is possibly even in danger, she still wants to move forward. With this in mind, as you begin the game, imagine Lorna has called you on as her true and trusted friend to help her secure these items from the Cypress Mansion and then get out as quickly as possible. You will encounter others who are trying to get this valuable information as well, so you need to be careful and trust no one. The mansion itself also has many surprises to make your missions even more exciting and dangerous. You will need to use the resources available and pay attention to everything. Regardless of what you face, you must continue to acquire what is needed to help Lorna in her quest to learn the truth, gain the assets, and get out safely. Number of players, 2 to 6, ages 12 plus. Playing time, this is interesting, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Minimum, one hour. They don't last a max maximum. Okay. Okay. Uh, a great mix of combat, exploration, and strategy. Fun for the whole family, as long as your kids are 12. Use the many different skills and assets to achieve your goals. Some English there. Find suspense around every corner. So, nice touch. I didn't realize. Nice magnetic box here, actually. Oh, nice. So we are going to open this up. Actually, that's rather pretty. I got to say, I'm impressed by this. You got comic style art, then you got this nice heavy card here. Opening it up. Wow, this is a box. Jeez. I have to back up. Large box. FedEx was correct. FedEx was correct. Large box. We have some kind of rule summary card. So what do we got? Player versus player combat rules. Oh, that sounds uh 
potentially bad. Um, card types, we've got skill cards, classified prototypes, weapons, Cypress reset, security override keys, events, assets, security asset <coughs> keys. Winning the game, three objectives, collect all required inheritances, collect the security override key, expand, escape the mansion with all required items. There's some tips on here. Oh, it's a quick start guide. So you got a full quick start guide. Nice, oh, glossy, nice, nice and thick. Okay. There are, we did notice when we were looking at the website, there are a lot of different cards and card yes. types in this game. All right, here is a thing, and I got to say, it still looks like what I thought it looked like originally. Man, this is heavy. <laughs> it's, it's Clue. Does this not look like Clue? Yeah. yeah. It is cool. a huge, very Clue-like board. It is big. It's very big, but it's That is clue. a big board. Very Clue-like. It's not exactly Clue, but very Clue-like. There's all kinds of symbols on here. Actually, it's not bad looking. It's nice and glossy. Mm -hmm. Use this in your uh, gridded based modern RPGs. You got a nice map here. That that looks like quite a thick board too. Like yeah, no, this is I'm impressed. Material. Quality solid here. All right, looks like the box is only this big to fit this board though. Because once we get inside, you got everything divided up. You could have just by box a, insert. put a couple of more. And no, there's nothing underneath any of these. So, uh. so yeah, box this big. Looks good on the shelf, I guess. To be honest, this might be old school board game size. Like it might stack good with a copy of Monopoly. No, oh, okay. okay. All right. At this point, I don't know if I'm going to open up all the cards decks today because this seems hard. To do. <laughs> I'm going to put this in my lap. There we go. So we have the manual. Very good. Slayer. There we go. The manual. Um, actually, looks pretty nice. Full color. Looks like lots of examples. Two column text. Do you see any, uh, any white indication of English? Uh, hard to tell. Players who don't hold a weapon card are considered unarmed. You can still engage them in combat. The range for an unarmed player is one adjacent space in all four main direction. All four main direction. So there's an example right yeah. there. Okay, so there's going to be so some a little English bit. in there. If you can find if you can find one one example that quickly, then it's a good chance there's a lot of it. Looks like nice art. Uh, we are looking at 17 pages. There's some alternative ways to play. We talked about cards. What's nice, again, tough boxes. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I know has changed is there are now deluxe player pawns. They are not in this copy. They warned me ahead of time if I was going to do an unboxing that this does not include the new player shield. So I can't show you those. Uh, when I do up a review of this, I will be sharing that. So I will note Cypress Legacy did send me this. Uh, sorry, CypressInheritance.com. My bad for Cypress Legacy is the name of the game. CypressLegacy.com. And I think it came from Cypress Inheritance is the name of the company. Uh, we got miniatures. Ah, uh, wow. Okay. I thought it was going to be humans and stuff, but this is some little lizard man dude. Okay, that is not expected. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. Like, there's... A, oh, these are probably the player tokens that are being replaced. Uh, uh, that, oh, that would make right. sense. Yes. yes. They did warn me that the player tokens are being replaced. Uh, yeah, so, so okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, I got like a little goblin and stuff. But they warned right. me the player tokens are being... Re all right, prototype. So these are just generic minis. Ignore right. those. Never mind. <laughs> makes more sense. I'm like, what? A lizard man? We got some nice shiny cubes. 2d6, so it's just d6 based system, and a lot of decks of cards. I'm not going to open these right now this time and flip through them. Or maybe I should. What do people think? I can open them up to show you some of the art. Lots of decks of cards. You know, I'll open one. I'm going to open this event one. We'll take a quick look at that one. So yeah, they sent me a copy of this to review. I will be doing a review of it in the next little while. I couldn't tell you exactly when, because i got to get this played a couple times before I get my thoughts out there. I like the design of these tuck boxes. They just have a hole in the front so you can see what deck's in them. Yeah, it's a nice, nice touch. Nice. Especially when there's that many decks to keep track of. And hopefully they're not also shrink-wrapped inside. No, they're not. Good. Art's not bad. Uh, ooh. On the floor, I guess. Big box. All right, I don't know if I have autofocus on here, so I don't know if this is going to work, but... It works. It works. Yeah, this is fine. Decent looking art. Yeah, no, not bad. Text is in a good spot. Looks very clear, easy to read. 
We got spider bots. If you're defeated, lose an asset card. Big burly knights, because when you gain weight, your armor gets thicker. <laughs> yeah, the card quality is nice. So far, it looks pretty good. I, I got to admit, it looks a little better than I was expecting. I did check it out on the website. Huge board. So, yeah, that is Cypress Legacy, the board game. Something I will be reviewing in the coming weeks. You can check their game out at cypresslegacy.com. That's C-Y-P-R-E-S-S-L-E-G-A-C-Y.com. That has been a tabletop bellhop cardboard coat check. Cthulhu. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a good one. Oligarchy. That's an interesting sounding one. All right. We also have inheritance cards. I should have grabbed one of these. These look like they're based on the rooms. Well, I like this art. They just took the, the room, but then overlaid an image of whatever you found. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like that, that looks pretty cool. I don't know what that is. The secret room. Those look like blueprints. Yep, that's exactly what they're. In the game room, you find a cue. I wondered why. So, so at least they make sense. So the Cypress Goblin in the game room with the pool cue? Uh, possibly. That did throw me off the lizard man. I'm like, what the heck? My own fault. I, I did mention it before I started that they, they noted the pawns were different. So now that makes much more sense. So thanks, Cypress Legacy, for sending this. I'll let you know my thoughts. This mode disappears off the street because <laughs> game's on the floor because it's so big. At least it's At least not it's too not heavy. heavy. You're allowed, You're to, allowed lift to lift it. it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not Gloomhaven heavy, but <laughs> like just the size and shape with one hand, that's, that's a little heavy. Yeah, it's strange, it's to, strange see to see that game, saw, that, saw that game box game format. Box format. Yeah, yeah, it's... It's interesting. I like the way it folds open. Yeah, that's nice. Like the fold open's nice. The magnet here is nice. Yeah. Oh, it's also worth noting. This is the standard edition. They also have a deluxe edition that comes in a wood case. Probably a bit excessive. Probably. All right. So that's Cypress Legacy.